quick, get the butter and the salt. We're talking about corn cob and <laughs> corn cobs. I'm Batjack JW, and I'm, you're probably wondering what in the heck is he talking about? Uh, where is this channel going now? We're we turning into a food channel? No. Uh, thanks for clicking on the video. I'm Batjack JW. You're tuning into my channel. Thank you for coming over. Uh, okay, <laughs> corn cob. Let me clarify that. We're talking about the uh, the beautiful would be the um, I guess what would you say? I just say the pump thing. <laughs> I know we're so technical here. Uh, of course, we got all the uh, tactical people all upset, but who cares? Anyway, corn cob. Uh, we're talking basically about the the pump here and I got a couple of shotguns out here and a couple of one of my favorite things like this uh, my favorite little uh, pump 22s out here and that is just a beautiful uh, corn cob grip if I may or for uh, these are actually called slide actions so but the pump part is what we're talking about how about that okay so I got a couple of those uh, those out there those uh, as gallery gun as um, my hollow point used to say, uh, I, we miss my hollow point. So anyhow, that's what we're talking about. And I tell you, for me, the romance in it and everything like that is just, it definitely goes up there because I always spot that out every time I'm going through uh, gun shops, gun shows, uh, even when I'm watching a movie. One of the coolest movies for me when, when I think of something like that, and I've always liked the one off of a um, the, the Ithaca 37s, the old ones, uh, or that Stevens 67. Like, they just, the way it, it kind of, it tapers on both ends, and then it kind of gets larger towards the center. And that's like, you know, the, it would be, a, you could totally see where the name came from when you see one of those. Uh, I've yet to add one of those to the uh, collection, but... Uh, you know, we've, uh, we've got out some of them here, uh, some of them uh, that, you know, we just kind of go through and show you different uh, variations of it. Uh, of course, uh, this one here is just uh, super cool. Look at that. Look at just the size of that one off of this right here. This is a high standard uh, riot. It's a K K120. Uh, you can uh, sense uh, there's a video with uh, specifically talking about this coming up. To the channel yeah and i think it's something about getting away uh, maybe maybe it said too much but uh <laughs> anyhow uh this one here the uh it's a winchester 13 defender it's it's a defender 1300 uh it's a later model than or uh came after the 1200 but uh, pretty much the same gun uh, I picked it up solely just because of that corn cob thing, and uh, you know it looked very much like the K120 riot gun that I've been searching for for quite some time, uh, just because of uh, its association with something, right? But that's a whole nother video. But we're talking about just that beautiful wood that you just don't really see anymore on now inland has their their take on the trench gun uh their their it's basically a take on the Ithaca 37 it's got that beautiful beautiful uh corn cob pump on it that dark walnut and it is it is true to the uh to that old original style it is very true to it and of course the the Remington 870s the really old ones from back when are true to it but definitely for me there's something there's the, the cool factor of it when you really look at it and get to checking it out uh, for me just that you always see them lined up in shops like that and you just the minute I see that I gravitate towards it I'm like ooh, what is that I want to check that out what is that that's just like such a uh, it just screams at me when I'm going through those shops and uh, gun shows and whatnot I the minute I see that I'm like, oh, what is that? What is that? Let's let's check that out. That, that's what does it for me. So, uh, it does set it back. It has that nice vintage, uh, classic uh, tone to it, look to it, everything like that. I love those old police shotguns and whatnot. So, I just I love the way they 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 pop. There's the old cop shotguns are just super cool. And of course, like the Winchester 97, it's got kind of an interesting corn cob uh, pump on it as well. 
So, and especially these gallery guns, uh, these things are just cool. Uh, this one's kind of a, a darker, it may have just been uh, more used, uh, used and maybe saturated with oil or so, but it's got a kind of a darker red, reddish kind of color to it. So that's really neat. I like that. This is, these are, these are some of my favorite guns. I tell you, if you've never really shot one of these or checked one of them out, uh, Semi-autos are cool and everything, but there's something about a pump action 22 with the tape to the range. Uh, it's always an attention getter too. And just, it's so much fun. These things are so much fun. And this one here is the 23-inch the barreled one. And of course, I got the 16-inch uh, the uh, carbine model that is just phenomenal. It's kind of, you know what, it's, a, it's like as if you shrunk one of those shotguns down. Uh, that's so neat. Uh, you got the magazine tube and everything meeting right up with the barrel and all that. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to bring out. I wanted to bring out some of these beauties, uh, talk about them. And, you know, the, the cool thing is none of these things are terribly expensive. Uh, none of these things on the table here are very expensive. You can uh, just coming across them. That's what it is. I, like these, uh, like the Riot the, the K120 high standard shotgun here. You can come across them. They're usually floating around here and there. Sometimes you can get them and uh, you know, it depends if you, what you want it for. Now for me, it's just the association with a, a movie and everything like that. So of course that's more to come. Uh, I keep saying that, right? I keep dragging you along in these videos. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about them a little bit, my romance. I, I don't really know all of the history on them or anything, but I just know they ooze and they scream vintage and there's something really neat about them. Like I said, when I, when I go to these shops and stuff, I see them, I just gotta stop and find out what it is. And yeah, so again, one of the other cooler, uh, cool movies that I love with, uh, with one of these things in it is uh, Black Rain with Michael Douglas and Andy Garcia. In the end, Michael Douglas is given a Stevens 67 and it's chopped down. He's got a little bobbed uh, grip on it and everything, it's all cut down. And that, that grip on it, you can just see it, that corn cob grip on it, it's just, or that pump. Uh, it's just unbelievable. It is so cool that it just, the way that thing sits in the movie. I wish that he had used it more in the movie, but they really didn't. It just, he just kind of uses it a couple times and uh, that's it but just to have seen it this uh, the that whole sequence when they toss it to him and then they throw a bunch of shells on the ground he picks them up and then goes to take on the, the bad guys right in the sense so but yeah that's what uh, to me they're, they're really cool they always stand out they make great for uh, photography and video they just the way they stand out the way they pop off the screen really cool definitely vintage and that's what does it for me I'm just that guy that loves the wood and the blued steel. It's so awesome. Thanks for clicking on the video, guys. I'm Bat Check JW. I'm going to get out of here for now. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And if you're watching this on Patreon early, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys supporting me over there and checking out the videos on Patreon. I do appreciate that.